Hey guys, welcome to a new game called Distort. Um, it looks pretty interesting. I know it's going to be in space, which is another thing I kind of, you know, really like, you know, space, time travel, my favorite things. So let's check it out and see what we got to do. Is that my legs? My head, what happened? Well, I'm lucky to be alive. A lot of blood. Well, yeah, my head wounds, they do bleed a little bit. All right. Ooh. Okay, I can't move anything. All right. I'm getting, getting into this. Ooh, green. Is there Vulcans aboard? Or Romulan? Star Trek reference. You don't know. That's probably a bad sign. Can I move that? No. Ooh, a book. Ooh. All right. Dr. Jenkins. I think they're all up to something. This mission? Oh, this mission. <laughs> Trying to find new life forms? Really? We have visited numerous sectors and yet nothing was discovered. I think the reason why we are sent here is to simply die. The station cut all contact with us. Strange, right? Why do they send us as little equipment as possible? Ridiculous. I locked two crew members in the main room and changed the keypad code. Okay, who's crazy now? Dr. Jenkins. I feel bad about hitting Jason. Oh, I'm probably Jason in the head, but he will survive. I'm planning on leaving the ship right after I fix the pod manually. Because I accidentally left the key card in the main room, the code corresponds to the terminal numbers, so it is four... Star, 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 star. Okay, so... Four something and three more digits. Corresponds to the terminal. Oh, whoa. Oh, cool. All right. Um, mission purpose research, sector 75. I read that backwards, but whatever. Um, findings. There are four crew members on this small ship. We have one access key card, which can be used to get into the pods and escape. Why would you need a key to get into an escape pod? Wouldn't that kind of defeat the purpose of being an emergency? Anyway, we must not forget about the mission, finding new forms of life. But in case of an emergency, following safety protocols are crucial for survival. Later, we will have a briefing about the new findings. Okay, was there a... Oh, there's 75, terminal B7. Right, let me get... Let me write this down. So, we have a... Uh, corresponds to the terminals. The first one we know is a 4. So, 4. Now we have B7. So, probably number 2 would be 7, but I'm going to put on a separate line. B7. Okay. Wait, was there a terminal back here? I don't know. I didn't really notice that. No, just those things. Well, do any of these things work? No. Okay. So there's something in the vents, probably. That is not moving for. Oh, no. This one says B4. So I don't... I don't think the B signifies like this is his number two, so but we'll write down B four. Alright. Uh findings are internal our initial arrival at the sector thirteen has been smooth. The sky is clear, no signs of life yet. The crew is excited as usual. We contacted the station and no further instructions were given. A couple of days here and we'll be on our way to the next sector. Okay. So we have uh, B7 and B4. Well, well, um, at least it's outside. Okay, we're in an asteroid field apparently though. That's a lot of green slime. Oh, cryopods. Probably. Or escape pods, maybe. 
I can use this pod. I just need an access card. Okay, and there's only one for everybody. How do you use all four if you need an access card? Use it. Anyway. That closes. All right. Okay. This is a B3. Now there's only three terminals. These are we got the code. Ish. Alright. One of those rocks hit our east wing, resulting in a huge crack on the glass. Something crawled out from there, and now it might be inside the ship. Okay. We have not been contacted by the station. I think we should abandon the mission and use escape pods to go back. Might be wise. This... Oh. Oh. Okay. All right, so it is this. All right, so we know the first number is a four. So four. Let's just do it in order. Seven, four, three. No. So four, four, seven, three. Four. No, mm -hmm. okay. Four. Seven. All right, this might take me a little bit. Let's, uh, so they correspond to the terminals. Let's go take a quick look at the terminals. They probably had a hint. All right, so sector 75. So this would probably be the last one. So three is probably like the last number. Um, sector 13. Um, so I, yeah, I would have did that anyway. All right, let's. I just know as I was walking in here, I noticed that there was another door. Let's see if we can even open that door. Oh, we can. And there's another terminal in here. Oh, I see something over there. All right. B6. All right. Oh, this is interesting. Okay. So now we have B6. Uh, findings. We've discovered a peculiar rock formation that emits emit a low frequency hum. Upon closer inspection, they appear to be c covered in tiny moving filaments. Our instruments can't identify the material. It's almost as if the rocks are alive. Interesting. What do we have? Oh, we have a leg. Okay. I can't do anything with the leg, so moving on. All right, now corresponds to the terminals. So maybe the first one isn't a four. Oh wait, maybe there's a four, and we were. It's not four four. Like there's two fours. Oh. So is it seven four three six? Seven, four, three, six. No. Or maybe they were saying the first one is a four. So it's four, seven. I just, I just did that. So with a four, three, seven. Six. Four, six, three, seven. Okay, I must be missing something. Go check that terminal again. The sick bay, I think. And read the last part about the code. Okay, long safety follows crucial. Later will be. 
Oh no, it was, it was the book. All right. Um, the code corresponds to the terminal numbers. Corresponds to the terminal numbers. So definitely, I think definitely the first one is a four. Was this was this one? I don't know. So if the first one is four, which was this terminal here, it says sector thirteen. I'm guessing seven might be the last number. This seems, this feels more. Yeah, this one seems more last, either second to last or last. So let's go four and the last number possibly is seven or four something, seven something. And then the terminal over here. Yeah, I thought I heard something. I thought I heard a click. All right, we just covered a peculiar rock formation. So this one feels more second. Because this is before it hit the wall. So let's go with six, four, six, and four, six, seven, and then. Obviously, the next number will be a three on each one of them. So it's either four, six, three, seven, or four, six, seven, three. Go try them out. Four, six, three, seven. Or four, six, seven, three. Yes, we did it. Okay. Oh, yeah, maybe we should get out fast. What's growing on your chest? What do you have? Oh, key card. Okay, wait, hold on. Before I pick that up, I want to look around a little bit more. Might need a crowbar. Yeah, that sounds good. All right, grab this. Here, Slurpees. Oh. Oh no, a giant tick. We got away. Oh, we did it. Okay, that was distort. Um, what was the keyboard uh, crowbar for? Huh. I don't know. Maybe we could have taken the vents off. Let me go a quick look through it all again. We'll get back to that door and we'll find out if we can get into the vents. Why not? We got one ending. See, there's two. So, um, I'll be right back. All right, we're back to the door. Just put the code in. Now, let's see. Can we actually open the, excuse me? Can we open the vents? We have a crowbar, but why? And how do I use it? Oh, now he's over here munching. Let's not do that. Yeah, I can't open any of these boxes, no? Yeah. Okay, maybe it was nothing. I don't know why we have a crowbar. That's very strange. And then we just escape again. Can't 
click on any of those. Yeah, um, I don't know why we get have access to a crowbar. But we uh, made it out. Anyway, um, maybe I'm missing something and it's something super obvious why you have the crowbar. Um, if you want to check it out yourself, it'll be down in the description. You can let me know what you found out. If it was something obvious, please tell me. Thank you all for hanging out and watching. Um, I'll catch you all in the next one. Thank you.